All right, let's see. Jessica says, New Calgon sent me some kind of say cleaner to try. Hey, man, that's all right. Very nice. Blue Air says, I put a piece of copper in the pump and the slime goes away. All right, so yeah, yeah. Copper does wonders. It's uh, antimicrobial. Fantastic idea. That's what people have the copper traps that they put on machines. And the copper coils. Do, we talked about that before, how the copper coils are so much better for not producing slime. You put aluminum coil in or microchannel aluminum coil in and you have slime out the wazoo. It's just there's so much stuff. Jess says sometimes copper alone doesn't work. And yeah, that's, that's true too. But copper is better than having an aluminum coil for sure. But since you guys spoke, you said, we want it. I will see if I can give it to you because these people obviously want to give it to you. And I think, uh, I think I heard Gil saying that these people that represent these guys, they make money based on if they get their guy on the air. So let's get this person some money. I don't remember their name, but let's get them. Let's get them paid. Let's get them paid. We'll get them on the air and that'll be a lot of fun. So let's see. I, th I think that's the last nutty email that I had. Yeah. Let's take a look. Here's what these things, let me see if I can blow this up. These are some of the neutralizers that I was looking at with little beads inside. I didn't show those. So it's almost like one of those dryers that you get, the copper dryers filled with the desiccant beads. That's what it reminds me of. So that's why I said these things are clogging, waiting to happen, it looks like. It looks like I can view this thing a little bit closer too. Just imagine, guys, instead of the copper filled with desiccant beads, you have like a see-through plastic deal filled with these little white beads. Look like they're probably an eighth inch in size. And there's little hose clamps on either side where you connect it to the drain. Let's see what it says for features. The CBM series features the CBM series features a streamlined profile and transparent capsule, which enables operators and service technicians to visibly inspect the, I always hate this word, efficacy of the neutralization process. That sounds very formal. Makes me, that makes me think about vaccines. The CBM series is easily serviced in the field via our factory direct Refill pre-charged with pH power pellets. Oh man, I like that. pH power pellets. Now we're talking. Hey, look at you guys talking about that Zoologica stuff. I watched that video. Jessica sent me that video, I believe, and I watched it. I learned all about Zoologica. It's a Zoologica. Is that right? I think that's correct. <laughs> I think that's right. Okay, let's take one final break, guys. And if anyone wants to call in after the break, we'll do that. And um, what, oh, let me see here. Do those keep the condensate from gas appliances from rusting steel drains? Uh, JPM Baron, and thank you for becoming a member. I didn't notice you became a member, but thank you. And uh, yeah, that's what it, that's what they're saying. They showed a picture on one of these screens, one of the floor grates, little uh, metal floor grates, all eaten up, saying it's supposed to help prevent that from happening. That's what they wanted. Now, I don't I don't think it's probably going to be 100%, but it'd probably greatly slow down the process. It's like having a coastal condensing unit at the beach. It doesn't stop it from rotting out, but it slows it down. So that's what I'm assuming. So we'll see if uh, we'll see if the guy wants to come on here and talk about it. We can ask him that question. I mean, any questions you guys want me to ask someone like that, we'll definitely do it. So we can definitely do that. All righty then. All right, we're back. Uh, Jessica said she may call in, so I'm not going to put the number on the screen in case she wants to go ahead and do that. She can tell us what uh, the scientists said about bacteria, zoology, whatever it's called. Uh, zoologist. I don't know. So we'll give Jessica a look. Here she goes. All right. Let me let me patch her through here. Hello, hello. Oh, that works good. Let me turn it down just a little bit. All right, Jess, what's up? Oh, you know, another day. Oh, man, that's that's so depressing sounding. Oh, uh, it's normal. <laughs> <laughs> that's not any better. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just trying to make it through another day so I can go to bed. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, it's it kind of sounds like, uh, what's that dude from Charlie, not Charlie Brown, but uh, Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore. That's what it sounds like. A little bit, a little bit this week. Yeah, I, I, I don't blame you. So, what was the deal? A lot of hours this week? Um, not ju I'm just not sleeping well. Oh, well, I'm, you know, I hate I hate to hear that. I, I too, have suffered from that. And that is, that is just, it plays with your mind, not having enough sleep. 
It happens. I'm used. I mean, I should be used to it. I've been this way since I was tiny. Really, man. Yeah. So are yeah. you are you like insomnia? Did they did the doctor said you have insomnia? Take this big um, pill here and you'll fall asleep for a week. I've never been diagnosed with insomnia, but um, my mom always tells the story of when I was 18 months old. I could climb out of my crib, open the door, and wander around the house all hours of the night, which mm. they didn't like because we had a floor furnace. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's very dangerous. Yeah. And yeah. So that made her not get any sleep. And so she took me to the doctor and she's like, make her sleep. Put her in a room and shut the door. Um, that doesn't work. Ma'am. So, Benadryl. That's what the parents do, right? Benadryl. That's what they did. That's <gasps> what the doctor told her. All right. A, a lot of doctors say that. If the kid has trouble sleeping, go with Benadryl or melatonin. Those are the things. Yeah. Melatonin yeah. ain't strong enough. Melatonin don't do nothing. Not anymore. It used to help. It doesn't anymore. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Uh, my son has that every now and then, and I feel bad for him. And uh, so now I feel bad for you. And uh, thank you oh. for calling up against that. No, oh, my doctor just uh, prescribed me some medication for it. So we'll see how it works. Uh oh. You have something that ends in done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet, I bet you'll be sleeping tonight or either that or, you know, seeing dragons in the living room. I've taken, I've taken it before. It's fine. Yeah. I know. My, uh, my wife once took uh, Ambien years ago and uh, we're, we're coming home. And I know we're going to talk about other stuff, but this is funny. Uh, we're coming home and driving a familiar stretch of road. My wife goes, what was that? I'm like, what do you mean? What was that? She's like, there's something running in front of our car. Like there ain't nothing in front of our car. She started seeing crap on that medication. Oh, wow. Now she says she can no longer. She just says I'm allergic or whatever you say. But some of that stuff, it really, it can really make you loopy. Yeah. But maybe that's what you're looking for. Be loopy and go to bed. Maybe. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Well, bourbon does that too, but it's 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 not it's frowned upon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> in some circles. <laughs> yeah. In some circles, it's frowned upon. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let's talk about the uh, the exciting subject of the moment, which just appeared, which was condensate neutralizing, which kind of morphed into you saying, now, what was it? I'm in contact with a chemist that has gotten some samples of drain slime, and it was not, not all of it was bacteria. So what's the deal, Phil? What's going on? So she was on a live stream with the HVAC grapevine guys. Which guy is that? I know. Is that Chris? Uh, Chris Hughes, Eric yeah. Kaiser, and Michael with the impossible last name to pronounce. Michael with the Imperioli from the Sopranos? <laughs> Cian Froco. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're Cian Froco or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. He's commented on the videos before. Okay. So, uh, what yeah. was that? So, um, I, I reached out to her and uh, befriended her on a social media sites and because I was found it extremely interesting and she got samples from different areas of Florida of the slime and none of it came back. Um, where is it? Um, of this, of her samples, none of it came back as that Zuglia, and it was actually six different strains of bacteria. Hmm. Anything that jumped out, like a very interesting type that we would be familiar with? Um, she didn't give out that fun information. Oh yet. man, we gotta know that. That's the best part. She was at the tail end of getting all the data back. And um, getting out or getting the sample products. Oh, man. So is the chemist. Okay. I mean, I don't want to because obviously you haven't said the chemist's name, but it's uh, not a certain. Is a certain guy's wife? No, it is. It is not Eric's wife. Okay. It's not Rachel. All right. Um, her name is Fallon Dial. What a cool name. Yeah. 
That is neat. Is really, she a superhero really, too? Really cool chick. That is cool, Santa. So, what, now, how did you get hooked up with this person again? I I saw her. I watched the live stream that she was on, and I found her on. Um, what do you call it? Tumblr. I don't know. <laughs> no, the 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 really the work one. Oh, LinkedIn. That one. Yeah, absolutely. LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah. The one with all the fun taken out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the reason why I was confused there, and I, I realize you said that twice now, is because I thought his wife was on their thing too. Um, I'm. Sh I don't know if Rachel's been on there yet. I don't know why I thought that. I, I figure I thought I'd seen that somewhere. Maybe just because he mentioned her during he mentioned her during the show one time, like I don't know, talking about chemistry or something. Oh well, just ignore that. So they always do um, something together at the symposium. Maybe that's what it was. That could have been it. She's a smart lady. So are they selling tickets for the symposium already? Yeah. Is the symposium still next year in like March? Um, you would ask me that. Uh, the date is maybe March. But it's next year though, right? Yeah. Oh, man, they they're they must be really flying down there if they're already selling tickets. Well, there's a limited number of tickets only because it's at the warehouse and we can only have so many people. How many people came last year, do you know? Um Did you count them? I didn't count them. And why would you? I mean that's that's not my job. Do they have funnel cakes? No. Were there any rides? Um, we have Chick Fil A. Hey, Chick Fil A well, is the best. At least one day we have Chick Fil A lunch. Hey, look at this now, Andy Holt. You familiar with Andy Holt from Outdoor University? Yes. So he's he had just appeared in the chat. It says join us at Kalos headquarters in sunny Claremont, Florida, on January nineteenth through twenty first, twenty twenty three. So he'll be there in January. Yep. I just pulled it up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm glad you said his name because I've been really wanting to do that um, that class. Are you going to take Craig? Um, do I have to? No, I don't. I don't think that you do. <laughs> I don't think you have to take Craig. But I'm kind of curious about both of you just going out there and being in sleeping in the tent or whatever for wh however long it is. Yeah. No, I would definitely take Craig. That's not well. I'd take my wife, too. I mean, I don't want to discuss the reasoning, but, uh, yeah, I'd want her to be there as well. Uh, two nights. Yeah, two nights. I'm going to need my wife there. <laughs> that's so, that's so awesome. No, I would really, really, I remember when you had him on on the podcast, and it, that class sounds so amazing. A lot of people really, really love the class. In fact, I think... What he had told me was that a lot of companies have, like, there's somebody that goes there, and all of a sudden, more of the guys are going there because uh, it's just everybody gets a lot out of it. So I think it's it's a real hit. It's been around for a while, too, now. So I think I think y'all like it. Craig says he's going. Uh, so <laughs> that's good. <laughs> he didn't even know it was an option here, like, 10 minutes ago, but now he's going to the class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's awesome. That's, so you're going to be able to find out what bacteria is, and then you can call us again? I mean, I'll do what I can. I mean, we need to know if this is uh, this is some random stuff we never heard of before. If it's streptococcus pneumoniae, that's what we need to know. We need to know what's going on there. I don't know why, yeah. but I'm just curious. I really don't know why if it makes any difference whatsoever, but I'm just kind of curious about it. I mean, it would be kind of nice to know considering, you know, all of my wonderful photos of playing with it. <laughs> Yeah. What am I really playing with? Yeah, like the stuff that made the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's what you're playing with. Probably. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't want to be a turtle, but hey, superhero would be cool. You can put that crap down. You can remain April O'Neil instead of the turtles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Jessica, I appreciate it. I think I'm about to wrap this thing up. But uh, yeah, go get some sleep or try to get some sleep. Go take uh, whatever's going to lay you out basically and i hope it works yeah. and you're squared away tomorrow morning well 
I'll get it tomorrow. So we'll try oh. and do it. That. We'll try and do it the natural way tonight. Oh, you know, early times it's only four dollars a pint. So. <laughs> <laughs> you have a wonderful night, Zach. You too, Jessica. Bye. <laughs> Bye. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.